We go next to China. The booming Chinese economy has some experts predicting it could surpass the U.S. economy as the world's largest by 2030. And many people have become recently very rich in China. But none have become as fabulously wealthy as the so-called princelings, the children of high party officials. Viewers Mandarin Service reporter C. Young, who also goes by the name Kathy, joined me to talk about this trend. With great ceremony, China's ruling Communist Party Congress is meeting to choose the next generation of leaders. Many of these men are the sons of former high party officials. They are called princelings because they have achieved high political status largely due to their revolutionary lineage. So are these like the rich kids of China? Well, they are rich now, but uh, I think in their very beginning, they, their family was not rich. So how did they become so wealthy? Because they use the family ties now and they get connections, and they e it's easily for them to get into the business circle and they, they can monopolize the markets. And sometimes they can be the deal makers for the Western country, Western companies who, which want to uh, come into Chinese market. Okay, so it's like if, if I'm a Western company and if I want to get into China, these are the people that I would, my company would have to deal with. Well, you have to get them into, get into your business. Then it's easier to, for you to open your Chinese market. Okay. You know, the Atlantic, I think they just had an article that, hey, if you want to get into China, get yourself a prison. A recent New York Times report says family members of China's leader, Wen Jiabao, have accumulated more than 2.7 billion U.S. dollars during his tenure as premier. The wealth is hidden behind layers of investment vehicles in banking, insurance, precious stones, resorts, and telecommunications. Uh, some of the critics have been saying that this kind of nepotism or family tie success is, is prevalent in China. Why do you think it is? I think the reason is because, I, I didn't know it, but I, when I also interviewed one of the experts, he's an old China hand, he said, hey, I think the, the, the reason is because China really do not have an independent media, and also they do not have an independent judiciary system. Hmm. And also because the Chinese government actually get into the every aspects of the economic activities. Because it's easy since you are there and it's easy to get corrupt. But what about China, China's pledge to crack down on corruption? The, the new leadership, yeah, they talk about it and the, 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 the Xi Jinping was kind of tough on that. But you know, the every generation of leaders talks about corruption. So okay. I don't know, we have to wait and see. So, Kathy, we see a lot of the sons from these princeling families uh, who are in leadership roles. What about their daughters? The daughters actually are also in, 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 this, in this circle, like the former premier Li Peng's daughter, Li Xiaoling. And he's, she's now actually the, I think, CEO of a electricity company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they are also quite active there. So if I belong to a princeling family and I'm their let's say eldest son, there's a better chance for me to get into a powerful company as a CEO other than if I'm on merit. Uh, it, it's, it's different because the fortune is sometimes just like fall from the sky for you. You do not like have to seek actively about your fortune. People really want to come to you and uh, want, hey, do you want to be a CEO? of such and such company. What do you think your, your story would have? What kind of an impact do you think your story would have? Well, I do not know, but uh, from our website, it's the most hit. It's, it's ranking like three on the most hit stories in the week. Mm -hmm. So people are really interested in it. Do you feel scared reporting on things like these that Prince Links can come after you? And what do you hope to achieve from uh, stories like these? I'm not scared, I'm in a free <laughs> country. Okay. And, uh, so, so the prin princelings can come here and, and do something to you? Well, I don't think so. Okay. I, I think it maybe I'm just a too small a potato. I don't think they will come after me. But the, thing, the reason why I want to write this story, I am kind of angered by this kind of practice. I think they, they should give people like more chance. Just because you're coming from a different family, then you get everything there. And the other people get nothing. It's like inequality.